Hi guys, today's video is about why 90% of the space in your normal gym is wasted and how you can get an effective workout anywhere. I get asked a lot why we don't use machines here at CrossFit Jordan and also at our studio Limitless in Berkhamsted. And the main reason I don't use machines is because most machines are pretty useless for most people's needs. So you spend all day, if you've got an office job, sitting down, or most of the day. You spend a lot of the day sitting down where you commute to work and then you'll get home and you're gonna sit on the sofa. So what's the best thing to do when you get to the gym? Well, it's definitely not gonna be sitting down on the pec deck machine doing this, all right? That is not gonna be of any physical benefit to you. Machines are useful if you are trying to build hypertrophy and add volume of work into your training. In other words, you wanna do more and more sets or target specific muscles. So when I talk about hypertrophy, I'm talking about people doing bodybuilding. So yes, those guys at the gym that wanna just work on their mirror muscles and they just wanna build up their pecs, then yeah, they can obviously do alongside their other stuff. So alongside traditional barbell bench press and dumbbell bench press, they might stick some machine work in there as well. But for most people that are looking to get actually fitter, machines are pretty much a waste of your time. You could be spending your time doing some much better stuff, okay? Here, we've only got a couple of machines. In the CrossFit gym, all we have is assault bikes, and rowers, and then we have a couple of other bits of uh, kit that we use for accessory work. But most of the time, we're using free weights. And I think some people, when they go to the gym, they're scared about using free weights, which is why they resort to the machines. I mean, most people I talk to, when they come in for their consultation, either for personal training or for membership here, when they talk about the gym, they talk about that they, they don't really know what to do. But they're sort of unsure as to what machines to use or, or what free weights to use, so that all they'll do is they'll do what I call, and I've called it before, the 20-20-20 workout, where they'll go into the gym and they'll spend 20 minutes on the elliptical machine or the cross trainer, 20 minutes on the bike, and then 20 minutes on a treadmill, and that's their workout done. It's not gonna give you much bang for your buck. You can spend an hour in gym, and you're gonna not really get a complete workout. So, I'm gonna give you an example here of something you can do safely in the gym, no matter what your level of fitness is, and it should challenge you and work all of your muscle groups. So, those of you that have difficulty squatting, maybe you have problems when you do squats and you're new to that and you're a bit afraid of squatting, you're gonna do an exercise where you're gonna use the box here. Okay, so you're gonna do a box squat. So a box squat, I'm gonna stand here, make sure that I'm actually gonna reach the, the, the uh, box with my bottom, and I'm gonna go down, sit down, and stand back up again. That's a box squat. Now the exercise I'm gonna do in this workout is actually called a thruster. Now normally it would be a free squat, pressing dumbbells overhead. On this occasion, I'm gonna step up here, dumbbells on my shoulders, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna drive up. Sit down, press straight up. I'm keeping the dumbbells in a hammer position here. It's just simpler to learn this way. So touching your shoulders, head of the dumbbells on the shoulders here, Standing up, pressing straight up. Look straight ahead, don't look up when you do this, because you'll extend your back and end up like this. So, drive down, press up. You're doing that. When you're holding anything up here, you're gonna be working your midline stability. Obviously, you're gonna be working your legs. Heavier the weight, the more your legs are working, and big time in the shoulders as well. There's a simple, pretty much an all-rounder, really. We're gonna add into that an exercise called a bent-over row. So you the same pair of dumbbells, bow forward here, back nice and straight, shoulders in front of the hands, we're not in this position here, shoulders just in front of the hands here. What you're gonna do is row those dumbbells parallel to your thighs, squeeze shoulder blades together. Notice how I'm not moving the rest of my body, a lot of people they end up doing this. They start jumping up, stay nice and level, just row up here. Try to feel when you're doing this, the squeeze in between your shoulder blades. That's a bent over row. And the final one I'm gonna do is a kettlebell swing. 
Now, people see this and they think, oh, it's a bit explosive, a bit dangerous. Okay, if you do it correctly, it should be perfectly safe. Choose a light weight if you've never done it before and learn the technique. So get your feet wide enough that the kettlebell is going to fit between your legs. Keeping your back straight and neutral, you're going to hinge from your waist and you're going to hitch that kettlebell just below your crotch. Okay, so from there, you're going to use these muscles here and you're going to drive your hips forward and that kettlebell is going to swing up to shoulder height. Okay? Some people might call this a Russian swing. For now, we'll just call it a kettlebell swing. So the exercise is working all of your posterior chain. So midline stability, especially through the lower back area here. You should be using the glutes for a lot of the power source and you're using your hamstrings as well. And to some extent, your quadriceps as well as you're getting that extension here. Combine that with your bent over row, which is obviously working the middle back. Combine that with the thrusters, and you're going to be working shoulders, back of the arms, and legs. We're going to add into that either some rowing, some bike. We've got uh, an assault bike here. Or if you've got no equipment, so say, for example, you want to do this workout at home, you can just use a skipping rope. So the choice is yours, and the workout today is going to be a 250 meter row, alternatively, 500 meter bike ride, or 50 skips. That's the first part of the workout, so 250 row, or 500 meter bike ride, or 50 skips. You're going to follow that with 10 thrusters, 10 bent over row, and 20 swings. You can repeat that three times if you've got time. If you've only got time for a quick five minute workout, you can just do one round, because obviously five minutes exercise is better than zero minutes exercise. So give this a little go at home or in the gym. It's gonna be a quick, efficient workout. You're gonna get loads of bang for your buck, and you're not gonna be spending the time in the gym just sitting on your ass. I'm gonna give it a go. Have a little look, and uh, any questions, please put in the comments below. Cheers, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I'm always looking for more questions to answer. So if you've got anything you'd like answered on fitness, nutrition, or anything else, then please post in the comments below or drop me an email.